So you guys, I passed my boards. Yeah, yeah, I pull up for the window down and yeah, yeah. I just bought a pistol, it got 30 rounds. Pull up at your mama house and put some rounds in. All right, you guys, we're in the car. We went to the mall to just get out the house, I guess. Um, and because I have my fucking license, like, excuse my language, but I'm a whole nurse now, so we have to celebrate a little bit. So we're gonna go to the mall, do some shopping, do some looking around, and that's pretty much, it's pretty much the vibe right now. Why you like you lost your best friend? the neon wire hang anywhere and enjoy I'm getting that that's actually pretty neat I bet your mama want one Definitely giving me Scooby Doo.
are now at Chili's. Um, so I told Imani that I would take her to get some food. I really thought I was gonna take her to like McDonald's, but Little Miss Mamas wanted to sit down at a restaurant. Don't look at me like that. Okay. So we're going on, this is a sister date. We haven't been on one of those in a long time. I love to eat for free. No. Of course you do. <laughs> I wish I was eating for free. Oranges and pizza. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I usually always get the crispy honey chipotle chicken tenders. I know, now I'm looking at other stuff like maybe I should be different, but why fix what's not broken? Two thirds. Two thirds. Yeah. This one was just oily. Just oily. Too much oil. Mm -hmm. Kaja's doing whatever. So now we're gonna wrap this up, go back to the house. I might as well help me take my hair down because it's about that time. She ain't taking no damn nap. I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay down. I'm and I need to package up my mom's orders. Now let's go home. Oh, excuse me before she gives me a hard time. And Kai's gonna take a nap. Maybe I should take a nap. Because I feel like after these hard hours of working, these hard hours of working, you've done nothing. Studying for influence. This small is definitely not what it used to be. I guess because when I used to come before, I was just like a high schooler, you know, you just go to the mall just to hang out. Whereas now it's just kind of like the stores keep like changing. 30, so. Yeah, <laughs> not pretty. And yeah, the stores keep changing and you're looking for things. And you're just not really, it's not really a vibe anymore. You should have went to the malls that have my type of stores. Like, you should have went to Buckhead. No Buckhead. <laughs> we should have went to Buckhead. All right, you guys, I'm at Walmart now. I need to get some hair products. So as you can see, I took my hair out. So I need some new hair products. And I hate shopping for hair products. How am I supposed to get in the house? There is a frog right here. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Please. Please. <laughs> it looks small on camera, but y'all, I promise you this frog is huge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm -mm, yeah, I don't do frogs. I don't do the frogs. So I wanted to get, um, I wanted to just look at the bathroom stuff that they had at Walmart. But, but I couldn't because they were redecorating, reorganizing, moving stuff around. So I could not look. So whatever. They also didn't have the meal stuff that I usually use. Um, I always have to get like the gel souffle stuff because it takes to my hair better than the creams. The creams in my hair still be like super dry. And I also try, I'm gonna try the Flawless by Gabrielle Union. I didn't even know that she had hair stuff. So I'm gonna try the Flawless by Gabrielle Union. Um, hydrating Curl Refresher Spray so that um, my hair hydrates and revitalizes my curls from the next day because I like to do a wash and go um and I like it to last a couple days so I cannot believe how much my hair has grown like this is insane y'all know me I'm well y'all don't know me but those who know me know I cut my hair a lot so we'll see how that goes but um I just want to take the moment to thank God out loud um, you know, we say our prayers, we give them thanks, you know, behind closed doors. But now that I have somewhat of a platform, I feel like it's only right to thank him out loud because, um, I passed my NCLEX on the first go. Like a lot of people, 
I don't want to say a lot of people, but not everybody can do that. It's not that they can, they don't. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Everybody's test is different. Um, everybody takes tests differently. I have really bad testing anxiety, so I really walked out like I failed. I had 81 questions, and I just knew that I did not pass. Um, and I did the Pearson View trick, and it worked. So they say that it means that I passed, and the very next day I checked um, the Georgia Board of Nursing, and there I was. So I definitely want to thank God because I really, he knew I needed this win. Like, I really, really needed this win. Ever since I found out I was pregnant with Kai, like I knew I needed to be in a position to be able to make a stable income and that that wasn't going to be coming from serving or like, you know, jobs like that. Like I needed to be in a career field and um, he held my hand the whole entire time. He, you know, he helped me financially. He helped me physically. He helped me emotionally, spiritually to get through this journey because it was not easy. It was a lot of sacrifices. It was a lot of compromise, not just for me, but for my family. So I thank them too. But most of all, I thank God because if it wasn't for him, I would not be in this position. And um, and that doesn't just mean everything came easy to me because faith without works is dead. So I had to put in the work to be able to get to this point. But if I had not put in the work and had my belief in God, my faith in God, I would not be here. So I just want to thank him because, like I said, I needed this win. Like, I cannot imagine where I would be in life without him. So, definitely had to take a moment to thank my Lord and Savior for getting me this far. And I'm excited for the future for me and Kai um, to have some type of financial freedom, especially being 24 with a three-year-old in today's climate of everything being so expensive. You know, about to move into my second place being able to afford this place financially my very first apartment my rent was four hundred dollars you know rent is nowhere near that now so being able to afford that is um crazy being able to have a fully furnished apartment it's crazy you know like i never pictured my life to be here so i just want to take the time thank god um i work tomorrow so i'm gonna do um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do Put some stuff in my hair so that I don't really have to worry about it tomorrow because I am a night owl so I'm gonna be up anyway might as well and um yeah that's all I had to say <laughs> all right all right so this is my hair it is all to find this stuff love it I did use a good chunk of it but love it absolutely love it um i'm gonna let it dry overnight so i'm gonna fluff it out and i'm gonna show you guys my finished result good morning it is the next day and i am up making myself some breakfast just some egg waffles and some coffee um i work tonight so i won't be doing really much of anything other than lounging around getting my rest up because I work 12 hour shifts overnight so so I figured I'm gonna put y'all so yeah um I have to package up some of my mom's orders and then after that I'm gonna go lay down so yeah I'm gonna show you guys me packaging up a couple orders and then I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. So let's get to it because I wanna go lay down. <laughs> yeah, they got it, Bobby.
All right, you guys, I finished packing up all of that stuff and um, cleaning up the most I could. So I just want to show you guys the finished result of my hair. The camera does it no justice. It's so pretty. All right, so now I'm wrapping up the vlog. See you guys next time.